Folks, we are heading to the UK, the United Kingdom. We're going to London. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yes. God save the queen. Yes. And we're going to be, we're going to be overseas for 10 whole days. And our trip starts now. You guys ready? Ready. Let's do this. day here in the Great Smoky Mountains and we're heading to Alcoa. We're heading to the airport and it's a little windy. We got this storm a-brewing. Hopefully it doesn't delay our, our flight today. The flags are just going ape is what my friend John would say. So you have three different types of parking here. You have long-term, short-term, and then you have the economy lot. We always park in, in uh, long-term. Uh, it's kind of the mid-grade, and um, it gives us covered, covered parking. Today we're here at McGee Tyson Airport, and we're about to take a trip to England. Yes, we are going to leave this continent and we're going to the European continent, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Dawn's the first time ever leaving like to another continent. Also, this trip was because of all of our birthdays. You know, I just turned 45. My sister's going to turn 40 on this trip. <laughs> 40. And Dawn's going to turn 50 <laughs> in April. So this is like a gift to, to all of us. We're going to go to Europe. pretty close parking space. We normally don't get that close uh, to the elevators. We All we have is carry-ons and we all have a personal item. We packed kind of light for 10 days, but we, we I think we did it right. We just got barely enough to get through. And whatever we need, we can always buy. McGee Tyson Airport is a really easy airport to fly in and out of. Um, parking is real close. And it's a small airport and we've flown out here many of times now. I think this is like our fourth or fifth time flying out of here. I have to go back and, and check. So this trip has been in the making for a while. It's a little birthday trip celebrating all the, the fives and the zeros. Five over there, five on my 40. And she's the eldest. She's the eldest. She's the one that's <laughs> in charge. She's the one that's in charge of this thing, right? No, I'm in charge. Oh, you're in charge? I'm in charge. You're yes. the historian? Sort of this trip? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. We are, we are, we are. We got a clear TSA and we'll be on our way. I love this little airport. A lot of memories start and finish here. So TSA is just up there, so we gotta turn the camera off. Uh, but we gotta make sure we have our passports out and our tickets ready. We'll see you on the other side. I'll let you guys know how TSA is. Yeah, I love this little feature when you come in the airport here. A little, a little waterfall. Kind of reminds you a little bit of the waterfalls here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And we have to turn the camera off because they don't, they don't like cameras in TSA. They supposedly got this new scanning equipment that scans your bags we'll see how that goes i see everybody has made it through did they did they do an extra search on you no they didn't I'm no dawn last time got an extra search didn't you yeah. but we all made it through you know they have a new scanner here and you don't have to take like things out of your bag anymore they can scan it all through like your computer and that's normally we fly out of here we fly on allegiant today we're going to fly out on american airlines 
we're going to head to Charlotte, and then from there we're going to do our our nine-hour flight to London. We have this line of thunderstorms going right through Knoxville as we speak, so hopefully we don't have a delay because we only have an hour and 15-minute layover in Charlotte. They have a Quiznos Subs, they have a Cinnabon, an Uno Express. Uh, we've had the Quiznos before, not too bad. We're going to grab some drinks. While we're here, they have a little Tennessee last-minute souvenirs to take home with you or maybe take to where you're visiting. Uh, usually everything's overpriced in these airport stores, but when you're traveling, you know, you have no choice. Oh, this is cool. This is check in and, and chill out. You know, your travel necessities. We'll be seeing you soon, Prince Harry. We'll be seeing you soon. Jamie just alerted me that he's probably not. He's probably in California. I mean, why not? The airport is packed. This is the busiest I've ever seen, uh, this airport. Well, they have some Smoky Mountain gifts that you can take away with you. A little bit of moonshine fudge there. Oh, and caramels and, and moon pies. Yes, you gotta take something local back. Definitely take some moon pies. It says Tennessee Chocolate River Rocks, but a lot of times when you look at the back of these, they're like made in like New York or or somewhere else has nothing really to do with Tennessee and I got some wild huckaberry jam ooh and it comes in a salt shaker pretty cool and you got some Tennessee bear poop don't forget <laughs> the bear poop yeah, so what is your candy of choice I like pretzels on flights M&Ms are also good these um these blueberries are are not bad I got some cherries that I brought with already and I got some, some Sour Patch Kids, Reese's, and Peanuts. And a little cutting board here. You find anything cool, Dawn? I know we got some Mountain Dews for the um, trip over. And um, yeah, I got some neck pillows here. I don't have one. You, you got yours? Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes there are a lot to carry around, but... Well, it's not this brand. Not I guess the, you can pump it this and it's it probably more like the ones... Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Like, you can squeeze it up to nothing. Spectacular Knoxville, Tennessee, and the iconic Sun Spear. I've never seen that before. It's a, it's a pretty cool, cool card. Finest whiskey. Experience Knoxville. And all kinds of Knoxville goodies here. Actually, these are pretty cool. They have little airplanes for the kids. Oh. Even have a baby Allegiant. Oh, you can hear the. <laughs> That's cool. I got it toasted and it, it's warm to touch. Oh, yeah, we're gonna see what this is about. So I ordered the Italian and man, they packed that sub right up. And you got the Italian too, right? Yeah, I got the Italian. That's and good. then you got the turkey. Yeah, I can open it up here. It's good. I'm not hungry. We yeah. missed our first meal today. Yeah, it's our first meal, so. Um, Quiznos does a really good good job. I like how they put the oregano on it and everything oh, wow. else. Yeah. And the, the bread is like flaky. Yes, very toasty. Ooh, the turkey club looks good. They didn't cut it all the way through, but that's okay. yeah, it's good, doesn't it? Look at that. Our first meal of the day. Now we'll have two meals on the airplane. Uh, they do have in-flight service when you go, you know, across the pond. Uh, so we're gonna be on the plane for about nine hours. The beauty of East Tennessee, they have a little arts exhibit here, yeah, downtown Knoxville. Yeah, something to do while you wait for your plane. Different photos of the Great Smoky Mountains. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. This one here is really cool kind of shows time and it's dangling by a thread how true is that this kind of reminds me of where the wild things are TSA was the best experience I've ever had in any airport mm -hmm. ever now they got these new scanning technology it's kind of like a CT scan it actually looks like a, a CT scanner and they can see everything inside your bag and you don't have to take nothing out. You can leave your computer, your batteries, everything in there. 
And I guess the guy was telling me, they're, they're, they're that nice, they were telling me how it works. And they can literally like open your bag on a computer screen and like pick out all your items and everything. It was really cool. But anyways, it was super smooth. Uh, I still had to take my shoes off. You still I took have, mine off. And you have, still have to go through the scanner, you know, to be scanned yourself. But it was great. It was a great experience. Folks were great. So first we're going to fly to Charlotte. And then when we get to Charlotte, we got to run to our next gate because we have like an hour and 15 minutes to get to the next gate. They should be already boarding when we make it there. So we're going to be doing the, um, remember Home Alone where they were doing like, well, not really. I think we'll be able to walk there. Unless, yeah, unless we're late. She's drinking a soda over there. <laughs> unless we're late, then it could change the whole game. So we're praying <laughs> that, uh, that the flight's on time. And it is on time yeah, as trash. of right now. That's roughly the size of the plane we're going to be taking to Charlotte. Just a little one, a little Bombardier. And we're flight 5417. It's on time, 408. So th this is Dawn's Vera Bradley setup. Of course, you all know Dawn. She loves Vera, but but even but even the the these the, are old. I got those in Michigan. But that's a Vera Bradley lock. And my shirt says, oh. the appropriate t-shirt, Adventure awaits. Adventure is awaiting for us today, isn't it? Of course, here's my sister, Jamie. She's just listening to some... What kind of music do you listen to? Oh, not any. I'm not listening to anything right now. Oh, what you're not? I, listen, uh, I don't know. Alternative? You listen to alternative? Sometimes. You should be listening... To, you don't listen to Slayer, do you? No, not Slayer. You don't like Slayer? <laughs> no, I'm... Opposite of 10 is Gate 9. And it's also home to the Tennessee... National Guard. Uh, they use this runway. In fact, there goes a little plane right there. All types of aircraft, even military, fly out of here. There's a jet fighter over there on display. And that's part of the, the military base on the other side of the, the airport here. This might be the last time we actually see the sun because the sun doesn't really shine a whole lot in London, does it? I know where to stick that sun. See, guys, we're gonna meet. Well, you are in the power spot, right? I am. You got your got some juice going on, right? Trying to. Yep. Vera, Vera Bradley everywhere. You even got Vera Bradley, huh? Yeah. Old old Vera Bradley. Old Vera. It's the only uh, crossbody that I could really find. Mm. And there's our plane. That's our pony right there. I've flown on a little plane like this before. They're very small, very tight. Yeah, so they have to drop the door in order to take, you know, the walkway and then line it up. Because the, the plane probably was never really fully met for one of these or, I don't know. Dawn, 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 the plane is here. The plane is here. The plane, the plane. plane. Remember that movie? Plane. Yeah, the Fantasy Island, remember? Fantasy Island. The plane. Yeah, that's here. <laughs> little one. Little yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, very little. Is it smaller than a legion? It's very small. <laughs> so on the smaller planes you have to valet your carry-on. And what you do is you give them you give it to them at the gate. And then when you get off the plane, they give it back to you. So you don't have to go through, like, you know, the conveyor belts and all that. This will be ready for you at the gate. Uh, another, another ramp. We're going down. We are going down. going down. It's a small plane. You got to go down in order to go up, right? Is that how it goes? Is that what you're supposed to, got to go down? We got to check. We got to valet our, our bags here. This guy here will, will take our... There he goes. This guy here wants to. Your bag. Your bag. Your bag. They got it. Don't worry about it. They got yeah, it. Yeah, that's our. That's our plane there. Oh, a little bit of fresh air before we Ooh, we board. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Whatever you do. Ooh, yeah. Oh, there's the pilot. Yeah, you can see the pilot, and there's a, it's a bombardier, a bombardier. I think that's how you say that. Yeah. Oh, what do we do? Don't look down. <laughs> so, is 
this is a very small plane. I think I had the thing. And let's go. You hit your head, didn't you? Yeah. 417 yeah, service to Charlotte. Here, I'm like, if you could all help us get out of here on time, we need all seat belts fastened, all tray tables stowed. All seat backs in the upright position, all bags under the seat in front of you or in an overhead compartment. Um, we are hoping for some smooth air once we get up to cruise, but cruise is only going to be about 10 minutes long. So uh, seat belt sign will probably stay on the whole time with the turbulence and the, uh, the short flight here. So our worst fear has happened. The plane has been delayed 20 minutes. We're just sitting on the tarmac. Um, so, yeah. So our worst fear has happened on this flight is to be delayed to the next flight. We're just sitting here. I guess he said bad weather? Love you, bro. Something to do about something. I don't know. Yeah. But, but he did come back and say that everybody's going to make it on time. I don't know about that. Um, maybe if you, like, magically appear at the next game. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we got a little bit of rain that has delayed our flight. They, they say we should be able to make it to our next gate. Probably just in time, won't be able to stop or nothing. We'll just have to do the old, uh, the old home alone run. Wow, the winds have really picked up. You can see the trees out there just just rocking and rolling. Yeah, we're delayed a good 20 minutes uh, with the weather, and uh, it's pretty bad. Actually, the wind, the trees were starting to do this while we were waiting to take off. So, you know, safety first. But uh, we got that. Get above these clouds, we'll be doing good. There we go. Stow carry on items. Place your seat in the original upright position. Please stow larger electronic devices, including laptop computers, under the seat in front of you or in an overhead compartment. Secure smaller handheld devices in your hand or seat pocket. Devices must remain in airplane mode until after you land. This is probably the shortest flight I've ever been on. It feels like we've been here for like 10 minutes. We're already landing.
Something like something like that, right? Like a long like, 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 Oh, there's Charlotte right there. I don't know if you if you ever got of American Airlines. I definitely recommend uh We gotta wait for our bags though. Uh, uh, so that was a mess to get our bags. We were all confused back there, but we're here in Charlotte. We're heading to Concourse D, and we're in E. So I think it's just right around the corner here. Maybe about a 10 minute walk. They got a mechanical bowl in the in the airport. Whiskey <laughs> River. Pretty cool. And they got a, a today shop. Moving sidewalk. We're, we're moving now. You gonna make it, Dawn? Yeah. <laughs> Gate D5, we're here. We have made it with three minutes to go. We just made it in time. So this is the first time riding a 777. It's a big plane. I saw that glimpse it through the window. Pretty big. And that's our plane there. Wow, it's definitely a big one. Yeah, so this is first class. You can actually lay down and go to sleep on the plane. That would be great for international. I mean, this is business class. And this is where we're sitting. <laughs> you got four seats, three seats, and three seats. It's a wide body. I haven't flown a wide body since Ireland. So it's three seats, four, and then three. It's a big plane. Huge. The engine is bigger than most planes. I think the engine might even be bigger than the plane we rode over on. Um, and so yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll show you a little bit of the, the plane and there's a TV screen. It's crazy. They went around and passed out earbuds for everybody. Oh, we'll do English here. Ta-da, so it gets a little in, a little multimedia center here. You've even got a remote control. <laughs> you got a plug here for all different countries. And your foldable tray here. Yeah, we do get it in flight meal on this on this flight here what do you think Don are you investigating over there you know suckers are the worst things to fly with because during uh, in turbulence the, the stick will go up into your brain and kill you instantly well and, and my ears are gonna pop and I don't want them to pop and but the sucker is the worst thing to you have on a plane So they got Diet Coke, looks like they got some juices, they got some alcoholic beverages, which I believe you can get on an international flight they included. Coffee, tea, oops, a little bit kind of sensitive. Yeah, and sodas, and yeah, I think you go up to here and then you can pick your soda, right? Uh, Diet Coke, right? All right, anyways, there's all kinds of crazy stuff in here. You got uh, entertainment, which you can watch it's like different movies and stuff. Here's a let's check on the movies. Oh yeah. But you figure how many crashes we had. Let's see here. We got. Oh, it's very sensitive. This thing is. Launch from about third base. Ask me to dance, huh? Hmm. Oh, like I said, very very sensitive. Oh, there's Black Adam. Oh wow, you can watch Black Adam. That's cool. 
got some pretty good movies on here. I definitely won't get bored. So right here will we'll give us a rundown of our total flight. So yeah, we're over here in Charlotte. We're gonna fly right up over Canada, right across the Atlantic, and all the way to London. And so, wow, that's pretty cool. So you got a right around 800 miles, 900 miles. We'll be hitting Amherst, and then. Gander is about what 1500 and we'll slowly go over the Atlantic Atlantic Ocean uh, four o'clock they got st. Petersburg Copenhagen and I'll fly right over Ireland and right into London pretty cool we'll arrive about 7:33 a.m. 4,100 miles. How many people can you pack on a plane? Too many. Too many? <laughs> and we're ready for a takeoff here. It's a lot bigger of an airport than I thought it thought it was. It's actually quite quite huge. A very nice airport. I've never been in a plane where they have like two different kinds of different people. Yeah, we can do an old red-eye flight tonight. We're on our way. These are some big engines and they're loud too. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of horsepower in these babies. engine I've heard on an aircraft to date. because they're about to serve some drinks here and then to, I guess for dinner they said something about chicken we only have one choice and it's chicken yeah and they, uh, they give you a pillow and blanket everybody had one on their seat when we sat down and dinner is served uh, Dawn's got the exact same thing I got of course Jamie did too and let, they have a teeny tiny little salad that's good right Right, and then they have some. Um, they got an Aztec cinnamon bar. Ooh, that's probably dessert, right? And then they have a little wedge of of cheddar cheese. And then you have a um, uh, cream cream crackers. You got a little bit of like a roll over here. Some water. And this here is their, their chicken dish. And I think there's a little bit of butter. Yeah, a little a little little bit of butter there. It's cute. The grass leaves 
<laughs> Dawn, Dawn says it's cute because everything is like just little, right? <laughs> uh, oh boy. So underneath they got some they got extra virgin olive oil for the uh, for the chicken. This thing is super hot, by the way. Of course, we got some disposable um, fork and spoon and a little bit of salt and pepper in there. So, you got a little bit of everything in there. And right there, a little American Airlines emblem on the, on the salad, right? <laughs> I think I put the olive oil on my salad. That's what I'm gonna do, anyways. Yeah. Dawn, what do you think so far? You gonna eat your salad? <laughs> you brought out a cup of ice and the Diet Coke. So we got water, we got Diet Coke, we got everything we need here. A little water. Okay, so if you never eat on a plane, it is very difficult. Uh, there's not much room in here. And I got everything all just meg shipped just right. And Dawn just spilled ice all over me. She's laughing. She thinks it's funny. It's dinner time, not play time. I can't help it. There's no room. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we're we're dealing with there. You got a little bit of rice, uh, carrots, peas, and there's the chicken right there. about your meal so far. I think it's pretty good. So far, so it's really good actually, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, this thing is bumpy. I'm spilling stuff all over the front of me because everything's like this. Turbulent turbulence is really bad. about having you know a soft drink on an airplane Cheers. 
we are going to London, so that makes sense. Cheers, right? St. John's, Canada, Newfoundland. I'm trying to grab a little snooze here. time we'll see what we get for breakfast so breakfast is served looks like we got a little bit of yogurt in there probably some granola I don't know we'll open it up and see what it's all about well, in a little bag we got some Greek yogurt we got a um, thick bar oh, looking good looking good and a little granola to put inside the yogurt Breakfast of champions. But you're laughing over there? Yep. You got the breakfast of tea. Did you get any sleep? I don't know. I, don't I watched know. two movies. I watched um, I watched the new Elvis movie. Oh, it was good. You? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Driving on the wrong side of the road down there. <laughs> yeah, so that's London down there, at least the outskirts of London. I thought I saw an old like castle looking like building over that way. Touchdown. And we touch down. Did four thousand. 95 miles and it's 7.33 a.m. I think it's uh, 2.33 back in, in Tennessee. <laughs> well, you made it. You're on the ground. <laughs> London! Uh, we are. We're here. Heathrow. It's cold here. It's cold. It's really cold here. You want to come and She was a good plane, wasn't she? Yeah. Now, on to London. So I'll give you a little give you a little insight of what we went through. Uh, we went through immigration. And all we had to do was scan our passport and they took a picture of us. There was no human there. You just do it on your own. And then we went through customs. We just pretty much walked through. 
and they kind of just give you a look and you're good to go. So it was very easy. Uh, you didn't have to talk to nobody. And we're done. Now we're going to go catch our, our train. We are, we're taking the Heathrow Express to Paddington Station. A guy was telling me that this is the busiest airport in the world. Cool, right? And I also, so we've been planning this trip for a long time. And I got our Heathrow Express tickets about six months out. I think it was about six months out. And we got it for like $5 a person. But normally they're like $25 to $30 a person. So if you are coming, book well in advance and you'll get a deal. And uh, Heathrow Express is the fastest way into the city. You gotta walk on the other side of the pathways here because everything is on the opposite side. <laughs> Even the walkways are, you gotta go up uh, the yeah, left. Yeah, you gotta walk up the left. Just saying. This is like the biggest elevator ever, isn't it? I know. <laughs> you can put like 20 people in here. It's for this car to go. <laughs> well, and we're heading to the Heathrow Express. And this is our train. Please use all available doors. This is the lane running 832 Heathrow Express to Paddington on. For the Elizabeth line, continue waiting. Ah, so we're here at Paddington Station. Oh, cool Look yeah. at that. Yeah, this is Paddington Station. Here. Yeah. You made it, huh? <laughs> yeah, Paddington Square. It's cold here. Yeah. yeah. Uh. And you're greeted with a Burger King. Ah, <laughs> uh, they got breakfast going on. Of course it is 8.30 in the morning. Hello, sir. You're looking mighty dapper today. I see you got your your top hat. If you're in Paddington Station, you gotta get a Paddington Bear. Everything Paddington Bear that you could ever imagine. Look at, <laughs> and well, we're in the place where, where, well, the stories all happened, or at least you can have a little tea and a marmalade sandwich. I think before I leave, I'm gonna get one. I'm not gonna get one now because I'll have to lug it all over <laughs> creation, but but I'm gonna get one before I leave because we gotta leave through here, so. Oh, look at that. You got, even got some marmalade there. Yeah, my sister Jamie says, that's the way we felt when we arrived. We're like, where are we? What are we gonna do? How are we gonna get there, right? I guess they have like different images of Paddington Bear and this is the one my brother and I grew up. Yeah, I remember. He it's was like, like slow motion, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like a real bear and they kind of posed him, you know what I mean, and took pictures, yes. And this, this throughout the years he's changed? Oh yeah, he has changed throughout the years. Of course, he's the newest one. He's the one they made the movie yes. about, right? Yeah. Wow. And everything Paddington Bear it even got coffee mugs and what do you think, Don? They are. I mean, this is like everything you'd ever... We gotta come through Paddington Station to leave. I'm gonna get me one of those Paddington Bears for the shelf. We made it right there, Paddington Station. We did, we did, we did. Oh my goodness, it's my first post office box. <laughs> ah, pretty cool. So you have two different types of mail. You have a stamped mail and a franked mail. I don't know. That's crazy, huh? And this is where we're gonna stay. The Tudor Court Hotel for the next four nights. It's located real close to Paddington so we can get around the city. 
And here is our room. We're on the sixth floor with no elevator. <laughs> and I'm still winded. That was a lot. You know, those, out, those stairs are... They're tiny. They're, yeah, they're... <laughs> quick tour of this room there's not much to show it's very small it is on the sixth floor it has no elevators these steps are like very narrow oh my god they're not like normal steps mm -mm. i'm i'm still winded <laughs> that's a workout it's a workout i think they put us up here because we're younger folks so they're like eh, we'll go through. <laughs> yeah, how about that? anyways i'll give you a quick tour and we'll show it to Savala. So this is what they call a double. I guess a double is a is a full, maybe a queen, right? It looks like, it looks like a full. Baby. Yeah, yes. And then that's Jamie's bed over here. It's a single. And you got these mirrors and all that and a little TV over here, hair dryer, a little a little chair to sit in. But it looks like it's real clean. It smells real clean. Of course we have some towels and Hair shampoo and some soap. What do you think, Don? It's a place to rest your head <laughs> and take a shower. And Not much of a shower. And they have a tea, a little tea kettle, and your choice of, of tea is safe here. Oh, they even got a little fan. That's really good. I like having air circulating to shower do you want us to have to leave or do we dry off in there and put our clothes on I don't, <laughs> I don't know okay so here is the the bathroom and here's the the commode the the toilet it's got a little sink here and here's a shower very very super small but folks, that's gonna do it for today. It was a it was a rough first day, you know, yeah. all the traveling, you know, um, just uh, just tired. It's very <laughs> cold here today too. It's, it is cold. I thought it's I'd cold. see a snow flurry, but <laughs> we went up for twenty six hours or twenty two hours or something like that. So <sighs> who knows? And it's really cold though. <laughs> it is, but folks. That's gonna do it for today. Our first day here in london we are in the uk wow that's amazing <laughs> we're gonna be here for 10 days we got a lot coming up a lot more adventures coming up um we're gonna be going to paris you guys check that out It'll be happening in a few days but folks that's gonna do it guys we love you and we'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye everyone, everyone.